Okay, everyone, I know you want to speed up this ridiculously long line. I'm head of airport security, and I'm going to explain how to make it go faster, maybe even twice as fast. Now, there's two ways this can happen. One, the airport management, you know, those same people who failed to plan for the crowds despite knowing exactly how many flights would be departing today, could somehow instantly call in more security staff so we could open more screening checkpoints. That's not going to happen. So, let's talk about the second way. While you're standing in line, you can speed up things for yourselves a lot. Now, I'm going to let you in on two secrets today, and here's the first. To be perfectly honest, I don't really care if you do this or not. None of us do, because we're getting paid either way, and we barely make enough money to travel anywhere. But I know this could help keep some of you from missing your flights, so you might want to listen up. Here's what you can do. If you're wearing a jacket, take it off now. Also remove your hat, your watch, your wallet, your belt, and any large jewelry, and put them in your flippin' carry-on bag. Just do it now, not when you get to the front and start putting things into the x-ray trays. Doing that is going to save about 30 to 60 seconds per person. And while you're at it, put any loose change, keys, and your phone in that carry-on bag as well. Now, this next part is going to make you all look like professional travelers instead of idiots who always seem to be going through security for the very first time of their lives. While your carry-on is open, just make sure your laptop, tablet, and liquid toiletries are right at the top of your bag and easy to take out so you don't need to dig around for them. Let's talk liquids. Drink up your drinks now, not when you're right beside the x-ray machine and everyone else has to wait for you to finish. If you brought a bottle of booze that wasn't purchased at airport duty free, great, but it's not going through security. Hand it over and hopefully one of us will be going home with that later. Your toiletry liquids should be in a little Ziploc bag, you know, the one we give away for free. If you have more than three little bottles of any liquid, be prepared that security is going to make you throw them away. Don't have a shit fit about it or give us a hard time. We didn't make the rules. Our job is to enforce them. If you've already made the mistake of not packing them in your check-in bag, too late. Take a moment now to figure out which ones you can live without so you can make that sacrifice decision quickly. I can't speak for the entire staff here, but we do prefer getting your cologne and perfume. And finally, take a minute to loosen your shoelaces or shoe straps if you're going to be removing your shoes. It's not more complicated than that. Now you can spend your extra time buying a bunch of duty-free items you don't need and if you'd bother to compare prices, you'd realize aren't actually that cheap. Now, I promised a second secret, so here you go. Most of what we do here is security theater. So in 2015, TSA flunked its internal security tests badly. That year, it failed to detect smuggled weapons and explosives at airport security checkpoints 96% of the time. If terrorism is about scaring people, we're part of making you feel safe. Sure, we can catch some bad guys here and there, and we generally make the plane safer and deter bad behavior, but we're reactive. A terrorist gets something through security in a shoe, then everyone gets their shoes checked. A guy gets something biased in his underwear, and then we move to full body scanners. And we spend far too much time patting down little old ladies and kids. But unless you can come up with a quick, foolproof, politically appropriate method, this is the best we've got. Please continue to treat us kindly, and thank you for all the booze and perfume. Have a good flight.